Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of input output tables. This is standard 4.5b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 8 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a number pattern and it begins with these values, 6, 12, 18, 24, looks like we're skip counting by sixes there. So we need to find a table that shows the relationship between, we got two things, position of a number in the pattern and the value of that number. And so let's just see if we can make our input output table with those two things. So they're gonna basically give us what we need here, input, We've got our output here, and they've basically given us, like I said, the position of a number in a pattern. So our input is going to be our position. Now output is going to be the value of that number. And all they've given us are the values. 6, 12, 18, 24, because it says those are the values. So they've given us those four we can copy them down here, 6, 12, 18, 24. What we need to find are the positions. And the only kind of clue we get, obviously we can tell that this is the first and that's the second, that's the third, that's the fourth, because you've got the dot, dot, dot afterwards, which means it continues. And they also give you a little bit of clue right there, it says it begins with these values. So that first six is gonna be in the first position that 12 is going to be in the second position, that 18 is going to be in the third position, and that 24 is going to be in the fourth position. So there's our input-output table based on the position and the value, and now all we're looking for is our rule. So we are going side to side because our input and output are side to side. We are getting bigger from 1 to 6, 2 to 12. There's only two ways to do that. We're going to add or we're going to multiply. So let's try adding 1 plus 5, that makes 6. But does 2 plus 5 make 12? No, that'd be a 10. Does 3 plus 5 make 18? No, and 4 plus 5 definitely does not make 24. So it's not a plus 5. Let's try a multiply. 1 times what makes 6? Well, 6, I did say it looks like they were skip counting by 6s. So 1 times 6 makes 6. Does 2 times 6 makes 12? Yes. 3 times 6 makes 18? Yes. 4 times 6 makes 24. So there we go. We have our input output table, and we are multiplying everything by 6. Let's see which one looks like our input output table. Look at F. Now F looks wrong but it also has something that's right. So take a look at their values, 6, 12, 18, 24. So they correctly copied down those values. That's the ones that we have right here. But notice that their rule, instead of a multiply by six, their rule is a times one. That's where their rule shows up right there. So it's the only way to get the correct values but the wrong rule is to have the wrong position. Look, they say that this 6 is in the 6th spot, but it's actually in the 1st. They say the 12 is in the 12th spot, because that's what that 12 means, the 12th position. And all of those, so that's why all of those are incorrect right there. So G has the correct positions. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, just like we do, yes. But instead of multiply by 6, they get a plus 6. So their values are incorrect. 7, 8, 9, 10. We need to multiply by 6. That's why those are all incorrect, because our values are too small. H is just wrong on both ways. They actually flipped both of these. If they could have flipped those and did a multiply, we would be good. But they did the inverse, and they used division which leaves us with J. Positions are good, rule is good times six, values are good, our answer is J.